in this question there are three trigonometric equations we have to solve those equations to find the values of x y and z respectively let's start with the first one our first equation is 2 cot square x minus 5 cosec x minus 1 equals to 0 so we can write two times but cot square x is actually cos x square x minus 1 so we can write 2 times cos x square x minus 1 minus 5 times cos x x minus 1 equals to 0 so in the next line 2 cos x square x minus 2 minus 5 cos x x minus 1 equals to 0 so 2 2 cos x square x minus 5 cos x x minus 1 equals minus 3 equals to 0 now we need to do the middle term factorization therefore let's write 2 cos x square x minus 6 cos x x plus cos x x minus 3 equals to 0 so taking 2 cos x x common we get cos x x minus 3 and again plus 1 common so we get cos x x minus 3 equals to 0 taking cos x x minus 3 common we get 2 cos x x plus 1 equals to 0 so here these are the two factors so we can say cos sec x minus 3 equals to 0 so cos sec x equals to so cos sec x equals to 3 but again sin x equals to 1 over cos sec x so we can write sin x equals to 1 over 3 or we can say 2 cos sec x plus 1 equals to 0 therefore cos sec x equals to negative half similar way we can say sin x equals to negative 2 but this value cannot be accepted as the minimum value of sin x is minus 1 but minus 2 is less than minus 1 so we cannot take this value by taking sin x equals to 1 over 3 unless uh, we will continue so let's draw a line here okay so let's write sin x equals to 1 over 3 so x equals to sin inverse 1 over 3 so let's before writing the value of x using calculator let's draw the chord, uh, chord four coordinates quadrant sorry four quadrants so as we know that sin x or sin theta is positive in first and second quadrant so let's get the acute angle for the first quadrant that is 19.5 using this acute angle we will get the second angle from second quadrant which is 180 minus 19.5 so after let me do the calculation so yeah now we can say x equals to 19.5 and 160.5 degrees so these are the two values of x now let's try to find the value of y from the second equation second equation is 5 cos 2y minus 4 sin 2y equals to 0 by changing sides we can write 4 sin 2y equals to 5 cos 2y by doing cross multiplication we write sin 2y over cos 2y equals to 5 over 4 but we know that sin theta over cos theta is actually tan theta so sin 2y over cos 2y is actually tan 2y so let's write tan 2y equals to 5 over 4 here our angle is not y our angle is 2y so we need to modify the range of y as range of 2y so let's write the inequality 0 
y and 180. If you multiply this with, th with 2, we get the value of 2i lies between 0 to 360. So, resume. let's resume. 2y equals 2 tan inverse 5 over 4. So, 2y equals 2. Again, let's uh, draw the quadrant here on the white space. Okay, let me draw the quadrant here. Tan x is positive on the first quadrant and on the third quadrant, but it is negative on second and fourth quadrant. So, we will take the values from the first and third quadrant. In the first quadrant, the accurate angle is 51.3 degree. So, let us go to the third quadrant with this help of this accurate angle. We can write 180 plus 51.3. So, now uh, let us erase this drawing. Uh, let us erase this completely. Then we will write over there. Yep. So, now we can write. Uh, on the other side 2y equals 2 51.3 and 231.3 okay so let's divide by 2 51.3 divided by 2 and 231.3 divided by 2 so y equals 2 y equals 2 let me use the calculator so we get 51.3 divided by 2 is 26.7 and 231.3 divided by 2 gives me uh, what 1 105.7 degree so we found the values of y now let's try to find the value of z here uh, the value of z lies between 0 to 2 pi that that means we have to find the value of z uh, in radian or pi so let assume z plus pi by 6 is alpha uh, so cos alpha is negative half so let's draw the quadrant again now we need to take the quadrants where cos is negative cos is negative on second and third quadrant so alpha is cos inverse here we will try to find with positive half because positive has will give us the accurate angle and with the help of that accurate angle we will go to the second quadrant and third quadrant so th if second of uh, in the second quadrant we will go by not pi plus we will go by pi minus pi by 3 because pi by 3 is cos inverse half and pi plus pi by 3 which is also cos inverse, cos inverse half so alpha equals to 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3 now substituting alpha with z plus pi by 6 we can write z plus pi by 6 equals to 2 pi by 3 and 4 pi by 3 taking pi by 6 on the right hand side we can write okay we can write z equals to 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 6 and uh, 4 pi by 3 minus pi by 6 which gives us z equals to uh, 6 uh, in denominator we get 6 and then 5 pi no 5 pi it's not 5 pi it's 3 pi so it's 3 pi so z equals to 3 pi over 6 or the end z equals to 7 pi over 6 so 3 pi by 6 is actually pi by 2 and then 7 pi by 6 these are the values of z so question 11 is done now let's go to question 12